three little pigs were very, very happy that day because the mother pig has packed the most delicious foods in their baskets for them to have a picnic by the lake. Be careful, okay? Get home before it's too late, kids. Okay, Mommy. The little pigs went excitedly to the lakeside. They were both eating and having fun. However, they were unaware of the wolf watching them hungrily through the trees. Hmm, not one, not two, but three pigs! The pigs, after eating and drinking, took a peaceful afternoon nap. Taking advantage of this, the greedy wolf slowly approached them. With a thin twig, he tickled the ear of the youngest pig. Go away, fly! Gurky was pushing away the fly with his hand, but after a while, he was tickled again. Finally, he opened his eyes and saw that it was a huge wolf that tickled him. Wake up! Wolf! When the other two pig brothers woke up and saw the wolf in front of them, they ran quickly and left the picnic place. The wolf wasn't in such a hurry to catch the pigs, as he thought they wouldn't be able to get very far with those tiny feet anyway, because the wolf's feet were huge. The little pig saw a huge white palace just ahead. They thought that if they ran inside, the wolf would never find them. Thus, they entered through the magnificent garden gate of the palace. However, the owner of this palace was the beautiful Snow White. While the princess was chatting with the hunter in the garden, she noticed the pigs entering. Although the hunter immediately grabbed his bow and arrow, Snow White stopped him. Instead, she wanted to help the little pigs and went after them. Pigs! Wait! But the pigs were so frightened when they saw the hunter that they didn't even notice that Snow White was calling out to them. While they were worrying about where to hide, they came across three doors in three different sizes. The little pig Gurky went through the little door. This was a toy room. There were all kinds of toys everywhere. The middle pig, Torky, rushed through the middle door. This room was a book room. Everywhere was full of books. And their older brother, Porky, entered through the biggest door. This was a dining room. Inside there was a huge table filled with various kinds of food. Meanwhile, the wolf, following the pig's trail, managed to enter the palace without being seen by the hunters standing in the garden. He came in front of the small door as he was walking through the palace corridors, smelling. I know you're here, piggy! Open the door, or I'll huff and puff and blow the room down! The little pig, Gurky, when he heard the wolf's voice, he hid among the toys in fear. No! You can't do this! The wolf huffed and puffed. <gasps> The little door snapped open. Gurky started running around among the toys. Help! Just when the wolf was about to catch the little piggy, Gurky ran out of the room and ran to Torky. Torky took his brother in immediately. When Gurky told his brother that the wolf was after them, they both hugged each other in fear. The wolf came to the front of the middle door this time. I know you're in there, piggies. Open the door or I'll huff and puff and blow the room down. This door is bigger. You can't blow it down like that. So the wolf huffed and puffed. <gasps> and thus the middle door was also opened. The pig brothers started to run away from the wolf, jumping around. The wolf was about to catch them both when Torky and Gurky quickly got away and ran to their brother Porky. Porky let his brothers in and closed the door tightly. He told his brothers that they would be safe here, 
that the wolf did not have the strength to break down this great door. This time, the wolf came in front of the big door. I know you're in there, piggies. Open the door, or I'll huff and puff and blow the room down! The pigs hid under the big dinner table in fear. And so the wolf huffed and puffed. <gasps> But the big door did not open. The wolf huffed and puffed again. <gasps> the door just stood there intact, not destroyed. Just as the wolf was about to kick the door with all his might, Snow White appeared right next to him. Hey, wolf, leave the pigs alone and leave my palace now. The wolf was very angry with Snow White who wanted to expel him from the palace. He took off his pointy nails and walked towards the princess. He thought he'd eat her first and then the pigs. Just as the treacherous wolf was about to pounce on Snow White, the hunter came in. Sensing the danger, the hunter fired his arrow at the heavy palace curtain over the wolf's head. The curtain has fallen on the wolf with a bang. <laughs> What a heavy thing this is! I can't get rid of it! No matter how hard the wolf tried, he couldn't move because of the weight of the curtain. Taking advantage of this, Snow White opened the big door with her key and went to the pigs hiding under the table. She told them that they had caught the wolf and that they would send him far away from the palace. The pigs came out joyfully and hugged Snow White. Woohoo! Thank you! You're our hero! Hero Snow White! The hunter of the palace entangled the wolf with ropes at once and left him in the farthest corner of the forest. And this is how Snow White and the three little pigs' friendships that will last forever began. And the wolf, in the furthest corner of the forest, thought about how his greed had hurt him.